Hi, I'm Mark Sklar, the fertility expert, and if you're trying to get pregnant, then this video on improving uterine environment is for you. Keep watching the video to improve your uterine environment, to reduce miscarriage, and to assure implantation. Write your questions below, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get pregnant faster. Today we are going over part three of how to get pregnant faster. My name is Mark Sklar. I'm the clinical director of reproductive wellness, which is a functional medicine clinic here in San Diego. We incorporate functional medicine and Chinese medicine with uh, nutritional therapy, chiropractic, massage therapy, um, to really create a comprehensive treatment plan and approach to our patients' care to get them the best results in the shortest amount of time possible. I am board certified by the American Board of Oriental Medicine um, as well. So how to get pregnant faster. Hopefully you've already seen the prior two um, uh, videos on this. The first one being on egg quality and the second one being on sperm quality. Today we're going over the uterine environment. So how to improve the uterine environment, which is essential because, um, you know, actually many times patients come in and they're really just focused on the quality of their ovaries, uh, the health of their ovaries, the quality of their eggs, and they tend to um, forget about or ignore the uterine environment, which is a really essential part of the process as that really helps to facilitate implantation. So some of the main reasons for a bad uterine environment are um, one, lifestyle habits, alcohol, drugs, tobacco, um, stress in various forms, one of them being emotional stress and you know weight loss to just name a few. There are always genetic, uh, potential genetic conditions, misshaped uh, uterus, uh, tilted or tipped uterus. Um, sometimes there are genetic issues that cause some sort of blockage or obstruction in the uterus, like a fibroid, uh, polyps. Um, so these are, uh, or, or something that blocks the tube as well. So these are all um, conditions, maybe some of them may or may not be genetic, but these are all conditions that can affect the health of the uterine environment. <clears throat> Third are uh, sexually transmitted diseases. These can, if they go untreated or are caught too late, they can have um, large repercussions on the uterine environment and, and um, the fallopian tubes as they can cause pelvic inflammatory disease, um, long-term blockages or obstructions in the tubes or the uterus themselves. Some of the main ways that we improve or can improve the uterine environment are through nutrition, natural supplements and herbs, acupuncture, and lifestyle habits. You know, we've discussed a lot in previous two slides or to previous two um, videos on um, nutrition. And so really for me, the foundation of nutrition is eating a whole food diet, um, minimally processed foods, always fresh, uh, locally grown, organic, grass fed as much as possible. And, and you know, without the need to constantly repeat that, because I do go over that on many, many videos and slides, we're going to kind of just jump to the, the second and third, which are natural supplements and acupuncture. Now, even though I've discussed supplements and acupuncture on previous videos, when we talk about improving the uterine environment, there are specific things that we need to address um, and pay attention to that are different than some of the other uh, conditions that we treat. So acupuncture is especially helpful because many times when we have um, a uterus, like let's just say if there's uh, some sort of blockage, like a, a mass of some sort, um, the uterine lining is not thickening up enough or um, or there's or something is due to um, uh, sexually transmitted diseases, then many times we can have um, inflammation. So acupuncture is really great for this because it reduces inflammation, reduces pain, increases blood circulation, and we do in our office gear that straight towards the uterus, um, and that can really have a profound effect on um, on the uterine environment as a whole. So that's pretty much always a big part of what our recommendations are when we're dealing with improving the uterine environment, the endometrium, the fallopian tubes. Um, if there are, sometimes the uterus is 
tipped or, or tilted or displaced in some way. And sometimes that can be because the muscles and tendons are too tight and contracted. And so acupuncture can also help to relax the pelvic region as well. Moving on to supplements, <clears throat> proteolytic enzymes are phenomenal for cleaning up um, inflammation and improving blood circulation. So anytime I see patients with um, fibroids, cysts, polyps, some sort of mass, um, PID, any sort of inflammatory process going on um, in the uterus, if they've had a uterine biopsy and we found abnormal uterine uh, tissue or cells, then I do recommend proteolytic enzymes. They, for good ones, they can be expensive, but they do work and they are worth it. Um, essential fatty acids for me are just really a big part of, of just general healthcare um, as a whole, but also a big factor here. We do want to, those essential fatty acids, those oils do help to um, bring more nourishment and nutrients to the endometrium um, and help to increase blood circulation as well. I pretty much always routinely incorporate Chinese herbal medicine in this process. It's hard for me to give specific recommendations of what herbs I would give because that is going to be tailor-made to each individual person. So I do recommend that you seek out someone um, who has training and is certified and licensed in, in herbal medicine. All of our therapists in our office are, um, and we, we do um, write custom formulas for all of our patients. Turmeric is wonderful um, because it it is a, a wonderful herb for reducing inflammation. Um, and so we, I do use that quite a bit. And then many times um, we'll also put patients on a detox program be, before we put them on any of these other supplements. It helps to clean out the liver, which helps us um, filter uh, more efficiently, helps clean out uh, the uterus. Um, and reduce inflammation and really just kind of uh, allows us to pr press the reset button on, um, on our health and start fresh, if you will. Moving on to lifestyle habits now. So stress and sleep are essential. They are the foundation when we start dealing with lifestyle habits. Um, when your body repeatedly encounters a stress, a set of physiological changes dubbed the stress response trouble can brew. Stress may contribute to or make worse various health problems, including high blood pressure, suppression of the immune system, headaches, insomnia, depression, and irritable bowel syndrome. And this was written by, um, or, or, you know, comes from the Harvard Medical School. You know, stress, we find new studies every day pointing to the negative impacts that stress has on the body. We know for sure that when we are in a fight or flight response, blood circulation and the supply of blood throughout the body is dispersed in different ways. The body redirects blood to where it needs most. And when we're in that fight or flight response, we're, you know, running for our lives, if you will. So our bodies are thinking that we're, we're being chased by lions, tigers, and bear, bears, and they just, and blood gets shunted to the extremities. Well, the first place, or probably one of the first two places it gets taken away from or redirected from is the reproductive organs because that's the last thing we need to do when we're in that stress response. So acupuncture does wonderful things for bringing that, for regulating the stress response, bringing more blood circulation back to the reproductive organs, but just any stress management system um, or tools that you use will hopefully have a similar effect. Sleep, sleep deprivation has adverse effects on the body's ability to manage stress, as we, and so we just spoke about stress. Um, metabolize food, maintain a proper balance of hormones, insulin, cortisol, growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, fighting off infections, and, is the, and, and sleep deprivation is a hallmark for aging. So we really want to manage sleep. When you can sleep better, the body resets blood recirculates the way it should, and our nervous system um, goes back to normal. So I encourage all of our patients to get at least eight hours of sleep. And I mean, I should say, hopefully eight hours of sleep, at least seven. <clears throat> what to do to improve your uterine environment? So here are some other things that you can do. My abdominal massage is a non-invasive massage technique that gently manipulates the muscles and connective tissue that hold the organs in place. This is done externally on the abdomen. The intention is to guide organs to the proper position, releasing physical and emotional congestion and blockages. My abdominal massage is phenomenal for dealing with um, decreased um, 
uterine blood flow and improving the uterine environment. It helps tremendously when we're not just with increasing blood flow, but if we need to um, um, help with a, a malpositioned uterus or cervix, this will also help tremendously. Um, our massage therapist in our office uh, does tremendous work with this, but any Maya massage therapist can do the same. Um, female steam bath. So vaginal steam baths are used to assist the cleansing of the uterus in conjunction with the Maya abdominal therapy um, for, and, and treats a, a myriad of uh, female health symptoms. We do have several videos on our YouTube channel that address um, vaginal steams and what it can help with. Um, but this is, um, this is something that used to be used um, in ancient times, or not ancient times, but you know, hundreds of years ago to really um, clean out the uterus and uh, something that we encourage in our, in our office for our patients as well um, to allow the uterine tissue to detox, if you will, and shed its lining more efficiently. Castor oil packs are also used for the cleansing of the uterus and these help um, to, uh, castor oil packs help to soften hardness or masses. So I, I do recommend it quite often for endometriosis, fibroids, cysts, polyps, um, and in the same light, if we need to nourish and bring more nutrients to the uterine lining, then I will recommend this as well. We do have um, a couple of videos on our website regarding castor oil packs, or sorry, on our, on our YouTube channel, not on our website. And then fertility, qigong, and meditation. You know, a lot of people don't, um, don't know much about qigong and meditation, but <clears throat> it was found that after meditation, serum cortisol levels, which are raised with increased stress, were significantly reduced. Serum total uh, protein levels significantly increased and systolic pressure, diastolic pressure and pulse rate significantly reduced. Meditation helps to reset your nervous system and reduce the stress response. Additionally, Qigong and Qigong that is tailored to women's health and fertility will increase more blood circulation into the uterine environment. We do have uh, some some videos coming soon on this on this topic that should be able to you should be able to get um, from our website. And then we love fertility yoga in our practice. It lowers stress, it lowers the stress hormones, prevents insulin resistance, increases blood flow to the pelvic area, normalizes circadian rhythms, um, improves immune function, helps to fight fatigue, um, and helps to have more sexual energy. We have a free downloadable ebook on our website if you sign up for our ebooks um, that give you um, yoga poses to increase fertility and relaxation. Now. As much as I love yoga, I don't believe that all types of yoga are beneficial for um, for fertility and especially for uterine health. So really stick to these poses. Um, the um, I do not recommend for most of our patients, especially those having um, blood circulation issues and, and hormone irregularities, um, I ask them to stay away from um, hot yoga, um, anything that is really heated is is depleting on the body um so i you know I, I do recommend that you stay away from those types of yogas but keep it simple um follow our 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 yoga poses and i think you'll be fine don't forget that this is a three-part video series to teach you how to get pregnant faster watch how to get pregnant fast part one improving egg quality and how to get pregnant fast part two improving sperm quality by clicking on the videos to the right Subscribe to the Fertility Expert YouTube channel for more tips on how to get pregnant fast.